Today we're checking out and driving this badass 1968 Plymouth GTX. Fantastic car. Hell yeah. It's a nice GTX. It's great. And this was an older rotisserie restoration. Uh, rotisserie done in 2005 to 2007. Um, all painted body color underneath, beautiful car underneath and up top as well. You know, buckets console, beautiful interior. Just a nice t turnkey car. The Probably the, as you walk up to it, the only negative thing is they never replaced the bumpers. So the original bumpers that are 50 years old look great at 10 feet. You get up close, they've got some little mm -hmm. scuffs in them, but. Yeah. And then just the super sharp looking car, but again, the paint was done in like 2005. So just an older repaint. You know, it's a driver quality paint. We just put the brand new wheels and tires on it. So they don't have any miles on them. Yeah, I like, I li you never see a white GTX, I like it. It's good looking. Factory fender tag, power steering, power brakes. And this car has both build sheets too. It is an HP motor. It's not the numbers matching motor, but it's a 440 HP still. It's got both the build sheets and a bunch of, um, oh, you know, photos know and documentation that come with it too. Yeah, it's a good car. And it's under 60 grand, you know, for a GTX 440 steering brakes, factory tag, buckets council, uh, rotisserie restored. I'm just selling myself on it even more. Yeah, it's cool. Um, paint and stuff on the uh, inner fenders is gorgeous. Top of the frame rails are all painted. Well, that yeah. it's got the right air cleaner and yeah, just looks nice. Go to our nice website, coyoteclassics.com. Make sure you look at the floor pan pictures. We'll uh, pop the trunk for you here in this video too, but. Um, Here at Coyote Classics, we probably have the most Mopar, especially GTXs, Roadrunners. We got three, 370 Roadrunners. 270 Chargers. Okay, 60, yeah, 270 Chargers, 270 Roadrunners, a 68 Roadrunner clone. 68 9 GTX. We have two beautiful darts. Man. We have a Demon coming 73 in. 73 Chargers sitting there, too. 72 yeah. Demon. We got some Mopars. We'll have to change the sign out front. Mopar dealer. Damn near. Usually we have uh, Chevelles and... Camaros and Mustangs and not a lot of Mopars, but we're definitely overstocked on Mopars. So if you're looking for one, we're not going to have any more than what we got right now. Wheel and uh, tire 15 inch combo looks great on it. We did some meats on the back. I really love the wheels and tires on this one. I do too. One of the only things, you know, and you can't even really see it at all out here, but um, well, there's a little um, chip or something there, a little paint scratch. But in the right light, you can't see it out here, but in the right light, there's just a little bit of, you know, fade, I guess, on kind of tops of the fenders. Yellowing, or, or what you call yeah, it? Yeah, a little, little bit? like, yeah. I don't even know what to really call it. You don't see none of it out here, though. Uh-uh. Frickin' right here, it looks like an absolute show-winning car. I yeah, mean, it does. that, doesn't it? Great oh, stance, straight body. Those wheels, I, they've fully grown on me now. I love them. Yeah, fucking great five hours you go to. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like <laughs> My mind's been changed now that it's sitting here in front of me. It's beautiful. And it sounds fantastic, too. You want to open the trunk once, D? Yeah. While you're doing that, I'll uh, take a peek here in the interior. Um, inside dome lights work. You open the doors, all the council light works. Doors are all painted off the car. Uh, door panels are great. Wood grain still looks really nice. Okay. Bottom of the trunk lid paint is beautiful. Trunk's all clean. Oh yeah, look at that. And whole undercarriage is like that as well. Mm -hmm. um, 15 year old paint, so it ain't mint, but I'll tell you what, you can still take it to any local car show and win a trophy. Yeah, the interior is very nice on it. Gorgeous back shelf, door panels, headliner, dome light works there. All the lights, like I said, work in the console. Um, factory tack works. Seats are perfect. Beautiful wood grain. Um, dash pad has all been replaced. Um, Driver side's just as straight as the passenger.
even inside the, uh, they did the rotisserie restoration even inside the wheel well there. You can see there's no undercoat or nothing like that. It's all been painted white as well. Bottom corner of the door lines up nice. I need me one of these, like a white and black, you know, classic to go with the pickup. I like this one a lot. This, this is a nice car. It this, is. The wheels change the whole damn car. Yeah, I like it. And, and now the sun's shining, you can see it outside, it's beautiful. Yeah, the gaps are really good on it, aren't they? Top to bottom? Yeah, they are. Uh, door handle's original. Got a couple little pits on it, just like the bumpers. Here's the next one we're doing, boys. Girls. I'm excited about that. 69 GTX also. Uh, door panel's beautiful. They did a great job on the paint on the top of the doors as well. 76,879 miles on the odometer. Gauges are all crystal clear. Windows go up really nice too. Horn does not work. Yeah, felts are new. How yeah, the windows go up fast. I'm gonna leave my window down though. Me too. Uh, dash light works here too. Every single interior light works, doll. It's a good one. It is a good one. But I really like what they did with these little gauges too. Yeah, they're not bad at all. Gas gauge works. Um, the horn, take that back, horn does work. Horn does work, interesting. Yeah, but the horn- It could be you know, tightened up a little bit. Yeah, maybe. something needs to be tightened up there. That's kind of a pet peeve. Oh, no way. This is a way better car than we gave it credit for. Virtual AM radio works. Your plans are for Saturday, but they're hey, that's a coronation. Awesome. Fucking nice, man. Heater fan works. It's not. It's nice and quiet. Wipers. The factory tack works too. It works perfect. Don't hear no exhaust ticks or no exhaust leak. Um, turn signal left one works on the top of the fender. Right one you might is need a no bulb go. Or might need a, probably need the bulb. See the difference when we pull out here, Dean? You didn't have your truck parked in the way. Mm -hmm. Makes it easier. Yeah. I never drove this one before. Have you taken it down the road at all? Yeah, it's got a good little power. Has it? It does have a lot of power, doesn't yeah, it? It's fun. Fun that, car. That tranny shifts perfect as well. Um, the brakes are awesome. Freaking brake stop you right now. No pull left or right. Power brake booster works really good. Oil pressure's at 70 pounds at an idle. Um, we're idling right at 1,000. Temperature's up to about 145 right now. So that 440 HP has a lot of, a lot of oil pressure. Um, the steering gearbox feels tight too. Um, 70 mile an hour, no hands on the wheel, nice and tight. And uh, again, the, the steering's tight, you know what I mean? It's just nothing. Noise. Yeah, it goes down the road great. Yeah, 75, 80 right there. No rear end howl, no nothing. I mean, this, this GTX, this is not a clone, guys. This is an HP real GTX for under 60 grand rotisserie restored. With good that power runs this yeah. way. Yeah. It's a damn good buy. It is. Check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, or give us a call, 641 816 3145. We can help with shipping, financing, uh, do whatever we can to make it yours. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.